Hi folks, right here I've got a couple types of three rail O-gauge hoppers made by Menards and we're going to check them out today on Eric's Trains. Alright, so this should be a fairly quick video, it's just a bit of show and tell. I've got two coal hoppers and two covered hoppers. The two coal hoppers are Virginian and Conrail. The two covered hoppers are DNH and Kansas City Southern. And of course, they do have other road names available. You can check the Menards website to find out which road names they have. So these come in the plain brown box that most Menards O gauge cars come in, and that of course is to reduce cost because the Menards trains are very budget friendly, as you'll find out when I talk about the price later on. Now, of course, the silly people over in California have the Prop 65 warning on these cars. Just in case you were thinking of eating these cars or otherwise taking them internally. So just make sure you don't do that, or if you do, you've been warned. <laughs> so let's check out the coal hoppers first. And again, for those of you who are unfamiliar with Menards O-gauge trains, these are traditional O-gauge trains. Although some of them do approach being scale in size, they are not designed to be precision high-end scale models. They are traditional O-gauge, kind of like old school Lionel O27 type trains. But the prices are phenomenal. So here is the West Virginian coal hopper. West Virginia. Mountain Mama. And there's the label. West Virginian coal hopper car. Available only at Menards. So I'm going to need to open this car with something. So I'll use one of the knives from my knife collection. This is a Civivi Rustic Gent. Really beautiful knife. You know, it's pretty funny, someone commented on one of my recent YouTube videos and their comment was basically saying that they were upset that I advertise knives on a children's channel. Well, I can't begin to tell you how many things are wrong with that comment. First of all, this is not a children's channel. And secondly, I'm not advertising these knives. These are part of my knife collection. I'm an avid knife collector. I've got over 200 knives in my collection. And, you know, I've got to open these boxes with something. I could just use a razor knife, I guess, but why not share my collection with you guys? So that's what I do. But some people are idiots and they just have to make ignorant comments on YouTube, which is always annoying. So here it is. Looks nice. The coal load, I'm not sure if it comes out. Let's see. Well, it doesn't come out very easily if it does come out, but it looks pretty good up there. It's just your basic plastic coal load. Paint job looks good. Got a metal brake wheel right here. And then die cast metal trucks and couplers. And let's see if the wheels are gonna spin freely on this one. Yeah, looks like they are. Let's see if the couplers work. Yeah. On these Menards cars, the prices are fantastic, but the trade-off is that sometimes you have to do a little bit of work on the cars, especially with the trucks. Every now and then you'll get one where the wheels are a little bit stiff or something like that, and you might have to make an adjustment to get everything working perfectly. But for the prices, who cares? So there's the West Virginian coal hopper. Rolls nicely. So now let's open up the Conrail. Woo, look at that blue. <laughs> that is a bold blue, if I've ever seen one. All right, there it is. Exactly the same as the other one, just a different paint scheme, and this paint scheme looks pretty good. Built by Menards, 2019. Let's check out the wheels on this car to see if they roll freely. That truck's okay. And yeah, see, on this truck, this rear axle here doesn't want to move too easily. It does move, but it's kind of stiff. 
So I may have to do a little bit of work on this truck to get it working 100%. Oh, and here's another issue. This little piece came out and it just needs to be popped back in. So let me see if I can do that. There we go. And that's what I'm talking about. You know, these cars overall are good, but every now and then you have to do just a little bit of work on them to get them working perfectly. So there is the Conrail Hopper. So now let's check out the covered hoppers. So we'll open up the DNH covered hopper first. There it is. That is a bold red. I don't know if it's the correct red, but it certainly is bold. And you know, if it's not the correct shade of red, that's okay. These aren't meant to be super accurate scale models. And there it is. Looks great. Got some nice doors up here. Let's see if they open. Oh wow, look at that, they open. <laughs> wow, look at that. All these doors open. On a budget friendly car, that is astounding. So let's test the trucks on this car. And yeah, everything works good. Oh, see, there's another one of those things popping out. So just pop it back in there, no big deal. Very nice. I can't believe these hatches open up. That is incredible at this price. Now I keep on mentioning the great price, so I might as well talk about how much these cars cost. Both types of hoppers cost right at $20 on the Menards website. That's right, $20. So for $20, you can't beat it. Opening hatches on the top of the hopper car for $20. And that's what I'm talking about. You know, for this price, you know, if I have to adjust the truck a little bit or pop a piece back in place, who cares? For $20, you just can't beat these cars. So there it is. And let's check out the final covered hopper, which is the Kansas City Southern. Ooh, that's pretty. Look at that. And there's the KCS hopper. It looks beautiful. And again, opening hatches up top. <laughs> wow. And let's test these trucks. That one's okay. Okay, this axle is a little stiff here, so I'll have to do some work on that. And the ends look okay. So just to summarize, we've got the KCS covered hopper, the DNH covered hopper, the Conrail coal hopper, and the West Virginian coal hopper. 20 bucks each. You can't beat it. So let's go ahead and put these behind an engine and run them around the layout for a minute. Okay, I've got the cars coupled up behind this Lionel Lion Chief Santa Fe FT that came from the Lion Chief Santa Fe set that I reviewed a while back. I've got some other cars in the train as well, and in fact, all of the cars you're gonna see are made by Menards. Anyway, let's go ahead and roll it out. So there you have it, the covered hoppers and the coal hoppers from Menards. Nice quality traditional O-gauge trains 
for an amazing price. 20 bucks per car, you just can't beat that. And at that price, I really can't find anything to complain about. I mean, these are just a great deal any way you look at it. So if you'd like to pick up these cars in these road names or others, just check out the Menards website at www.menards.com. For now, that's it. I'm Eric Siegel, and I'll see you next time. Thank you.